Your Holiness, my eminent brother cardinals, brother bishops, brother priests and deacons, fellow religious, and friends in Jesus Christ. Philadelphia has waited a long time for this moment. And by Philadelphia, I mean not just Catholics, but Christians from every tradition, a vibrant and generous Jewish community, our mayor and our governor, and business leaders who have given us wonderful support and people of goodwill from every walk of life. This is a city that would change its name to Francisville today. We would do that if we could do it without inconveniencing the rest of North America. So we welcome you with all our hearts and a huge amount of enthusiasm and joy, Your Holiness. This Cathedral of St. Peter and Paul is a home of the church in Philadelphia, a church that produced two of my country's greatest saints, St. Catherine Drexel and St. John Newman. Philadelphia is a city that gave birth to the first Perry schools in the United States and a rich legacy of social service and Catholic education. The priests, deacons, women and men religious and lay faithful who are here today from the Church of Philadelphia continue that great work with the witness of their lives. Holy Father, thank you for celebrating the Eucharist with us. Thank you for showing us your support for families, for marriage, for immigrants, for the young and the poor. Most of all, thank you for living the gospel of Jesus Christ with a spirit of such joy that has reached into every heart in this cathedral. May God grant all of us today and all of the many thousands of people who will greet you this weekend a share in that same joy, now and always. Holy Father, welcome to Philadelphia. Be with you. And with your spirit. Bless the name of the Lord. Now and Our help is in the name of the Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the man to thank you. Thanks be to God. God bless you, and I see you to pray for me.